The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Chants continue to fill Governor Rick Scott's office as the second day of the sit-in protest is underway. Protesters continue to wait for the governor who is back in Florida after spending yesterday in New York. Those protesting say they want to meet with Rick Scott after the George Zimmerman verdict this past weekend. They have three demands they want addressed. Racial profiling, the stand your ground law, and what they say is the war on youth. People from around the country are watching. I think the governor has an interesting opportunity to prove his commitment to the future of youth in the state. I talked with the governor's press office. They say the governor is not scheduled to be here at the Capitol anytime Wednesday. Protesters say they'll stay here as long as needed. More than 30 protesters slept in the Capitol Tuesday night. You know, we all have beds at home, um, but we're making the best of it because we're dedicated. Those who stayed overnight say it's not the most ideal, but they're willing to sleep on the hard Capitol floor to prove they are serious about changes coming to Florida. It shows um, our resilience and, you know, how passionate we are about the Trayvon Martin case and how passionate we are about our future. As time progresses, more people have been coming to Tallahassee from across Florida and neighboring states. Protesters say if the governor doesn't agree to their demands, the crowds will get larger and louder. No justice, no peace. We're still willing to meet and we'll escalate. We'll continue to escalate. More people will come. He'll get visitors. Even though the crowds may get bigger, protesters say they still plan on remaining peaceful. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Horn reporting.